so you set this up. So in a way, you're an entrepreneur, aren't you? It's well. People keep saying that to me that I am, but I've never, I've never, I don't associate myself with being an entrepreneur. But but if I, if I look at carefully at what what I have done, then yes, I am. Um, I find it difficult to kind of say that though, because for me, the term doesn't sometimes doesn't fit with who I feel I am as a person. Um, but um, there's certainly uh, elements of uh, of, of on, entrepreneur whatever the word is you know being an entrepreneur in what I've done definitely but um, it's not a term I feel comfortable with and that's I think that's quite interesting because there's no reason why I shouldn't be comfortable with it I just sometimes find myself um, shying away from that I see myself more as a as a um, uh, an activist I guess you know somebody who's trying to I feel as though I want to make a change with people I want to make it have an impact on my my community in some shape or form and th that this is one of the reasons why I've set this up in the first place, I think. I think that's where it comes from. It comes from a sense of, um, uh, particularly when I was younger, uh, not feeling as though I was making any difference with anything and being the, you know, the kind of, uh, um, you know, as a, what, what's now known as a, a reluctant attender at school, or a, uh, I was actually probably school phobic, actually, um, had a lot of problems with, um, uh, with fear and uh, being being afraid of different situations and and that kind of thing, particularly when I was younger, um, and that all had an impact on where 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 I've got to. I think um, being you know moving from the, the, the uh, isolated community into a into a, in a city area as well that that happened in, when I was younger that had a huge impact on my life. Um, made me realise, in retrospect, made me, made me realise the importance of inclusion and how people are, um, are made to feel welcome in a community when they're clearly not. So I think that's a, um, that's a, uh, something that I've, tr I've always wanted to create with 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 with, with core. Um, from a musical point of view. I remember going into music shops when I was younger, and I was a, a frequent visitor to music shops. I spent most of my weekends, Saturdays, going into music shops, but I never felt that I was particularly welcome in there. And that's probably because I'm not, I'm never, I've never purported to be a, 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 you know, a decent musician. I play, and I've been very lucky in playing with lots of very, very good musicians and being made to feel very welcome with that. But with music shops back in the day when I used to go in, it was all filled with people that wanted to show off, basically. Wanted to sh show that they were better than anybody else. And I never liked that kind of thing. I always felt kind of a slightly uncomfortable, you know, picking a guitar up and having a play and all that sort of thing. So what I wanted to be able to do was, um, with, with setting up the, the shop element of, of core music, was, was to have a space where anybody could feel that they could come in and just have a go and nobody's going to judge them. Nobody's going to say, you're no good. Nobody's going to say you can't play. Nobody. It was, it was going to be from a, a, a standpoint of encouragement and and um, trying to engage with people to get them to, to 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 get involved in something. Perhaps you know, take some lessons or whatever it might be. Just to, to because, quite simply, I think music has a, can have a massive impact on people's lives. Being involved in it in all sorts of different uh, different. Um, ways can just just can change lives. It's a huge, hugely important thing. One of the one of the issues around um, ac access to music is how expensive it can be. So there's a barrier there for people who perhaps don't have the resources and uh, to be able to fund, uh, you know, private lessons that that kind of thing. Now. What we what we try and do here, and what we we always try and do here, is make is 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 create things that people can can access, and make it as affordable as possible. So there's several examples of that that we that we have. For instance, um, we have a a young person singing group where what the the person running that has decided to do is is basically run it on a pay what you can basis. Now, it's a, it's a sort of experimental thing that we're trying to see how, how well that works. So it's, it's, it's basically whatever, 
if you can afford to pay something, then great. If you can't, it doesn't matter. There's, there are difficulties associated with that because of the, how do you actually do that and not make people feel as though they have to, to contribute mm. or, and all that kind of thing. So there, there are ways in which we, we're looking at how to make that work. The other thing we do, we have um, an instrument amnesty scheme, for instance, where uh, people will donate instruments to us that they no longer need. We've got somebody who will refurbish them, put them back into circulation, make them playable. And we end up having very affordable instruments for people that are good, that, that work. The, the, we, we've seen several examples of people who have um, wanted to come along and do lessons and that kind of thing, but they, they end up with an instrument that isn't really fit for purpose because perhaps they've bought it from a supermarket or they've bought it from a charity shop or something and it hasn't been particularly well looked after or well um, you know, refurbished and that kind of thing. But we, what we can do here is, is get instruments into um, a good condition and playable because it's so important for, for particularly, well for anybody starting out new, that if, they, if they're trying an instrument out and it doesn't work properly, then they're not going to stick at it. They're going to they're going to be put off by it. So having something that can work and that's affordable is is is, is I think is a is a hugely important thing. Um, we're not we're not frightened to make money. I think that's the first thing. You know, we we, we know it's important to, that we have to make some money to make the keep the place going because uh, it's not just about turning things over. It's about making a little bit of, of of a profit, which we can then reinvest in new new activities. So we're conscious of that. So, but it, it, it's, it's also about, um, we think we offer fair prices on what we do, but then we take people on a journey really, because once, say somebody buys an instrument from, from us, we then look after them through that journey that during having that instrument. So if they have any problems with it, or they want to upgrade it at some stage, that kind of thing, that's what we do. We build a relationship with the people that we work with and the customers that come in and the people who come for lessons. I try and, for instance, I try and get to know people, first name terms kind of thing a lot of the time. So I know who they, I know people I can, I can say hello to them when they come in and they get to, to know me. And that's, for me, that's a hugely important part of the journey. Now, whether that works better in a small community, I'm sure that's true because you get to know people quite well. It takes me, can sometimes take me an hour to walk through town because I know that many people as a result of doing this. And I, and I like that, that's, that's great. Um, so it's, all, it's about that, that trust and, that, and, and the relationship you build with, with the people that, that you, you work with in your community. And, um, and to, to be able to do that in, in a, a smaller place as well, you have to have faith in the stuff that, you, that, you, that you're trying to sell. So you've got to be confident with the products. No good if, you, if you're selling people stuff that isn't fit for purpose or, or you don't get it fixed if it goes wrong or that kind of thing. Because sure, as, sure enough, what's going to happen is people are going to shun you in the streets and they're not going to want to speak to you. And, and it's going to take me less than two, 30 seconds to get through town. and I don't want that to happen. So I think it's all part of that. And if that's, um, if that's part of being an entrepreneur, then I'm happy to be described as such. It's, 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 yeah, yeah. So how do you think you can help young people in terms of modeling entrepreneurial behaviors and skills? I think, um, I, I think basically by um, encouraging them to adopt a similar approach, you know, um, building trust, um, showing uh, a level of respect and kindness to people, I think is important. Um, I think um, having the confidence in what you what you're talking about as well, understanding what you're talking about, how important it is to build the relationships, how important it is to be good with people. It's a, I mean, it's a fairly kind of, it's a very sort of, um, what's the word, a very cliched kind of expression, being good with people. But it's such an important part of what we do, and and sometimes I think. Um, Yes, we, we know that uh, internet shopping is hugely important and, and popular and all that kind of thing, but you don't necessarily build a relationship with, with, a, with somewhere that, you, that you're shopping on the internet with. Mm -hmm. I think you build, you have more chance of building successful and long, long term relationships with, with, with customers if you're able to, to speak to them face to face and engage with them and find out what it is about them, what, what's important to them. So, um, so what's really important about music? Well, for me, um, it's not just about people being uh, skilled in playing an instrument or anything like that, because I think what people 
fail to realise, well, a lot of people fail to realise, particularly the people who decide what's happening in the school curriculum, for instance, that music's such an important kind of life skill to have. Being involved in music is, is, uh, is massively important. It's got um, huge social value in terms of your self-esteem, your friendship groups, your mental health, um, all sorts of things connected with that. It's, it's a massively important part of people's lives. Being involved in music can, can, can help generally with your, with your um, transferable skills, as we like to call them, you know, your ability to, to work with other people, your ability to communicate, your ability to, to have empathy and, um, and um, understanding of where someone else is coming from. They're all things that can help to, to uh, create a community, I think, which is more supportive of each other and more and more um, more kind to each other actually I keep going back to that word but we we seem to have lost that somehow in in the way that we that we that we that we work with our days um, there's also you know there's nothing wrong with enjoying doing something as well you know getting a bit of a bit of pleasure out of life is there's nothing wrong with that and music can do that as well um, I think music can help to um, communities to come together as well Where's the money in Hexham and how can young people build enterprise through music? The sim simple things are things like, you know, um, running music, music events and festivals and things like that, that sort of thing. That's all, that can all be part of it. But also there's things um, such as um, um, soundscapes, that kind of idea. Uh, different experiences of seeing different parts of the town, um, but, but having a an additional thing that, that engages with. So, so if you imagine you're, you're looking at the Abbey, you're going around the Abbey and you're hearing some, some music or some sounds that help you connect with that particular um, place in a different kind of way. Mm -hmm. You could do it, in, I've seen it in other, other parts of the, the world and other parts of the country where you can go and, and experience these sounds that help you to engage with a, with a place in a different kind of way. And there are opportunities there, because it's not just about playing an instrument, creating those kind of things. So if young people were interested in getting involved in a, say getting involved in a project that was creating soundscape, there's things for, things for recording, there's things for editing, there's things for, for creating the sounds in the first place, capturing the sounds, doing sound sampling, doing all sorts of things, things like that. So there's, there, there, there could be huge.